Hey, what is up, guys? I'm back, uh, Pixel Designs, and uh, I am gonna start off my channel again with a new tutorial. Well, not new tutorial, but a tutorial, and um, this is going to be uh, the how to use Throwsy and how to like break the text. So uh, let me just show you a example first before we begin. Oh, once okay. Alright, so here, um, you can see it's a bit broken here, but it's not here. Um, that's what can happen sometimes. And uh, if you see these white outlines, it's because I added cell render. I'll show you that as well. So, uh, yep, yeah. let's begin. Alright, so, um, well, what the hell am I doing? Alright, so I have created my uh, text already and everything else. My... Uh, render settings are all good I do have render settings uh, on my earlier tutorials so please go check them out so uh, yep it's pixel there and uh, it's very simple first we're gonna have to make two colors I'm going to do red and black and then you need to cop copy and paste and then make the other color something different uh make sure it like matches so i i personally think red and black goes well together uh like blue and black all of those um shiz. so uh yeah first all what we're gonna do we have to put the black color first and um you put the black color if you want it to uh like when you break it it's gonna the black is gonna be inside the text and the red is going to be the main color, so it's going to be outside like that. Uh, wait, one sec. So, uh, yeah, like that. Now we go into plugins, Throwsy, and then you do Throwsy right there. And um, by the way, by the way, guys, if you don't know how to get Throwsy, uh, please comment below, and I will bring out a new tutorial tomorrow. If you don't know, so what I'm doing now is you click Throwsy. It should automatically come to here and random uh everything randomized find polygon polygon so uh if you don't have these just do it and um this all counts on what you want it wh what you want it to look like so the pieces um which is me what this means is how much times you want it to break so uh i want it to break a lot so i'm going to bring up to semi and um make sure this is clicked if it's not clicked it tells you you must select at least one object so press that and break now and as you can see it's breaking the text so yeah you just have to wait a while I'm actually gonna pause this video cuz uh, it's probably gonna take some time cuz I'm recording so uh, yep yeah, one sec alright guys so I'm back and um, it has finished breaking and uh, as you can see nothing has happened all you can see is like some outlines of where it's gonna break so basically what you do you come down here and like you drag it along and um wait one sec and as you can see it's just breaking a tiny bit now um this will lag for me since i'm recording and sometimes even if you're not recording it'll still lag uh so uh yep don't worry about that uh but if you wanna if you're dragging it all the way down here it will drop all the way down and um, it's pretty hard to find and when you render it it probably won't even render so um yeah that looks pretty good I'm gonna zoom in oh. alright probably yeah so as you can see there's pieces flying out so uh, I'm just gonna render this out and uh, this is gonna take a really long time um, even if you are not I don't know if even if you're not recording this takes an awfully long time so I'm gonna pause the video again and come back so yeah alright guys so basically I can't wait any longer cause um I rendered I rendered this and then I accidentally clicked off it then I had to render it again so um basically this is what it's gonna look like once it's completely done and you can see it's all broken and all that so um, um now what we're gonna do is the uh, cell render now so uh, let's just but 
basically have to go up to the render settings, make sure you have um, ambient in occlusion and global illumination on, then you go to effects, and then you go on cell render, which is almost at the top, and then you go on, you click color, and then it says edge color right here, you can choose any color, I'm going to choose a random color that won't go with it probably, so I'm going to choose like a blue, just so it stands out so you can see it more, and um, I have to render this out again, so uh, I'm just going to render it, I'll stop it halfway so you can see it, and um, so yeah. Alright guys, so I'm back and uh, this is the final product. As you can see the blue lines where I added the cell render and uh, I think it looks pretty good. Red, blue and black. So um, now I'm going to put this into Photoshop and show you what how you can make it look a bit better. Um, you basically need just one thing. You just need to do one thing to it. So just need to make a new canvas. Um, any size as long as it fits in the canvas. So yeah. Let's wait for this. Oh yeah, by the way guys, um if you don't know I have uh I have a other cha I have another channel called Pixel Now Edits and that there's where like that's my uh how can I say my gaming channel kind of thing. I edit and play games my episodes on there so yeah so if you guys haven't seen that please go check it out let's oh uh, so here yeah. all right so it's in and uh, spring up to the middle of it. And uh, what you can do first, rasterize layer, and then go on blending options and go on gradient overlay, blend mode. Make sure the dark bay is at the bottom, not like say, not like there or there, or like I don't know, like there. It, it just looks really bad, so make sure it's on 90 and uh, go on blend mode and click overlay and as you can see it just gives like a nice shine at the top and like a bit down at the bottom and uh, what else you can do you can add drop shadow and uh, take off use global light opacity all the way up take away distance and bring up the spread I don't know whatever you want and bring up the size a bit and what that does is uh, uh, let's say you have your logo behind the text. Let, I'll just copy and paste just to show you real quick. You do control T. Make this a bit bigger. And uh, clear layer style. Now, I don't know if you can see it properly, but you can see that like drop shadow there. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, Let's just see what we can do with this real quick. Let me just see if you could see a bit more if I do this. No, it doesn't really show. Alright, so, um, yeah, you just see the drop shadow right there. And, uh, so, yep. Yeah. Um, also, guys, I'll show you a background that I made for phase. Um, I'm going to pause the video check um, and look it up. Alright, so, guys, this is what you can do. If you uh, do use the Throwsy and the cell render, let me just zoom in. So, uh, yeah, right here, let me just show you the banner. Right here. Um, so, as you can see, the bare Throwsy there is cut off because um, of the banner size. Like, you see uh, text breaking off there. These lines are the cell renders. And you've got everything here. At the back, you see the Facebook thing. So, one second. Alright, so, sorry guys, I had to just do something. So, uh, yep, yeah, that's just been the whole tutorial. And uh, if you follow it through carefully, this is what you can have. And um, so, uh, yep, yeah, it's been Pixel.